class class number four I think painting your own focal point using really limited supplies welcome back to my channel it's Marta here I wonder how many of you is afraid of actually doodling drawing making your own and we always jump in and using um, other images I think it's time to break that fear and just try to you know use your skills how about trying out I think that's what we have to do just try it out what's the worst can happen it may not work but that's okay now I am using guess what if you watched my previous um, video you'll know I'm using the actual tea quite dark tea although it could be darker I think for definite uh, but I'm using tea indeed so let's try this a little bit more and I think I'm gonna doodle something there and I think I'm gonna jump in for this background that's why this is so very quiet and subtle because this is so very busy and so very much like woohoo colorful and everything is happening here so I think our focal point should be quite <laughs> quite quiet <laughs> I think that's a good that's a good word quite quite quiet okay so I'm adding even more in some elements just to have darker spaces here and there here and there you can use tea you can use coffee you can use uh, herbal teas that are stronger maybe reddish whatever you have guys whatever you have so let's try this and I'll be right back I think I'm gonna doodle a little bit, outline the actual leaves. Not so typical leaf, isn't it? With some sort of uh, lines, but why not? Why not? I love that. Not so obvious. Mm -hmm. Freehand. I think you should just try it and te te test out, try it out, and really, really practice. Practice, practice, practice. Not always my lines are good. Look, I'm just wobbly sometimes, but that's okay too. That's really okay. Um, my plan is to actually cut it out, fussy cut it and stick it down as our focal point here. Mm, so it's gonna be... It's gonna be on top of this background. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to freehand even more leaves but without any background but maybe with the actual lines like that. I love it. <laughs> Each leaf is so very different. I think that's perfectly fine. There we go. I love it. Oh wow, it's going to be super nice. Okay, let's um, cut this out if I can find <laughs> the scissors. There we go. Let's try this. Now, I love that. 
Now how about a little bit of brownishing these. How about that? If we just jump in with a touch of that tea here, that tea stain, what you think? There we go. I like that. Super, super, super. Mm, I wonder if I have this pencil pen, that pen, pen, pen. I don't see it. I had this one that would, uh, with the touch of water, would like run out and dissolve in the water, but I can't really find it. That's okay too. Um, but I have the black. Oh, I have the black. Um, a little bit of black. Um, what's the word? A little bit of black. Um, can't concentrate. Eyeshadows. <laughs> yes. A little bit of eyeshadows here, just to have some sort of some sort of happenings. Some sort of happening. Hmm, I like that. Okay, okay. I'm trying to kind of t slightly, lightly uh, have these blending now maybe instead of this I should use white eyeshadow so to kind of um, make this all more um, I don't know faded yeah that's probably a good word a little bit faded maybe it's not too late maybe I can still fade it with that pearly color <laughs> why not okay Okay, let's have a cut and let's see where is this going to take us. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with leaving the white around it. I think that's going to be nice. With the white around. I suggest you to try to have your mm, leaves naturally touching each other and being on top of each other when you doodle. So that's why that that way it's going to be easier for you to fussy cut because they're not going to be holding on on one kind of uh, line, but they will actually be on uh, like you know on thicker thicker kind of here the line. I mean. You know what I mean. I hope you do. <laughs> so it's gonna be just easier to cut and it's not gonna be falling apart basically because the... Uh, what's the word? What's the word? A sink of Marta always. How? What's that name? What's that called? <laughs> always the same. Um, Wodega it's in Polish. In English? Hmm. <laughs> Stem. There we go. Sometimes when I say things in Polish, it comes up in English afterwards. <laughs> it helps sometimes. So a stem. So you can see that the stem is quite thick because otherwise it would be really difficult to... <laughs> it would be difficult to uh, to fussy cut to keep it in one place. So I don't mind the white edges. Plus the white edges would, will make the whole piece really nicely stand out. And since we are trying to stand out from the very loud background, there we go, uh, it may be very helpful actually to have the white uh, to have the white around it. There we go. Uh -huh. There we go. I love this. Wow, I love this. The only thing is that I think I need more brown now. I I think I shouldn't be killing that 
with the actual color because I love that brown. Can I fix it? Can I just <laughs> fix it somehow? Can I fix it with that gold crayon? Uh, can I fix it? Can I fix it a little bit? Can I fix that with the gold crayon? Oh. First time ever using that gold crayon actually by the way. Yes, gold crayon. Hello. <laughs> yes. Definitely, definitely an improvement. <laughs> definitely. Uh, what what is I thinking? Adding that dark shade, shade shades of makeup. What I was thinking, Marta. What were you thinking? Oh well, that's okay. I'm sure you can find some crayon at home. This one is gold. These are woodies. <laughs> But if I have any links, check them below the video. I always try to do that. Yeah. <laughs> that is perfect. Let's try the rest and I'll be right back. Back to you because I'm going to actually use the tea stain to slightly move around my pigment, the gold pigment, like slightly, slightly. Because this woodies, the, the three in one, they are actually water soluble. Or something like that so you can move them with water and I love them to bits but I think we can just have a little bit of a play right now there we go yeah I love it love it love it let's try that back to you page is kind of dry and I was thinking how about a little bit of outlining here and there hmm just a little bit I don't know I don't know it doesn't write everywhere only in a few places because of the actual crayon being so pigmented and also being so chalky not chalky being pastel not pastel oh like mm, what's the word like creamy like waxy too much okay not happening not happening okay no problem let's just glue this down because when we do it it may tell us no Marta this is wrong or yes this is great way to do great direction so let's see we just have to see now the thing is are you crafting with me because if you're not you just have to pause this video and just jump in and start crafting with me otherwise <laughs> you just yeah you just have to know like there's no otherwise you just have to try it out and promise me that you will uh, because I am giving you permission, not not permission, I give you promise that you will love it. So you need to trust me to actually try it out. The blank page. Break that blank page as Hannah would do. <laughs> uh, now, time to do. I love this so very much. How pretty, how simple, how silly, but how wow. How wow, I like that. I think... I would love even more outline of this, but nothing wants to work. If I knew my amazing, oh, no, not this one, no, hmm, maybe just a regular, there we go, just a regular black normal pen. This is just a normal pen, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, a normal pen. Have you seen a normal pen? And it's not that black, it's like hmm nice, nice, nice color. It's like it's like plummy, like a dark pl plummy black. I love that. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the family. I may use you more often. Well, in a good way, for art only. <laughs> of course. Okay, look at that. It is working and it's happening. It is helping me to outline everything even more and make the whole bunch of those leafies stand out even more. Why not? Super. Now, don't overthink. Don't be like, like this, like this. No, just go, 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 go. It's not perfection here. It's the practice. It's the freedom. It's the how to start how to just go for it allow yourself for mistakes mistakes are good they happy accidents as bob rose was saying they just happy accidents make your leaves happy like happy clouds happy leaves so we need to make them being very happy i think they are my my leaves are very happy right now okay if I speak no sense, that's okay. It's midnight. <laughs> 
You, no, it's one o'clock a.m. Actually, you can forgive me that then. If I speak with no sense. There we go. There we go. There we go. Di da di da. I love that. Love that. Love that so very much. Now I think it would be lovely to imagine now. To do a little bit of. A little bit of. Just doodles around or something like give. Give it a little bit of um, a frame. Frame. That's the word I was looking for. A frame. And yet again, look. We're not here for perfection. We're not looking for ideal, beautiful, amazing pages. We're here to use our abilities to be creative, to learn how to be creative, to break a blank page. So how to break a blank page? This is how. I would love to see yours. I would love to see yours, your trials, your ideas, your ways of thinking outside the box. And this is amazing. In the simplicity is the key as well a lot of times. So wow, <laughs> stamps. Who would think? Who would think? Not me, not me, not me. When I was making this background, I was like, Marta, what you gonna do on top of it? What you gonna do on top of it? What you gonna do on top of the on top of it? And yeah, there we go. You can just do something super plain like that. Super plain doesn't mean silly or simple or easy super plain is like classy looking something something it's something something we need a title okay I found some beautiful arrangement <laughs> and look at this one I think it's so cute and can actually match the project look at that bow uh, I think it's gonna be cute to see I hope so Yes, maybe not with the rest of, well maybe, wait, maybe, actually, Marta, don't give up on that thought, because we have the longer part as well, so let's see, let's see, this can be quite nice. So, if you are new, and you don't know what to get, start off from investing in transparent and white gesso. As you can tell, I am perfectly fine without it, but I miss it. And if you're on the budget, you can still invest basic amount of money in few supplies that will save your life when doing mixed media art journaling, when playing around. So I suggest you that. Um, but also, it's okay to get few paper pads, a cheap ones, uh, or maybe go to your library, buy some magazines from somewhere, I don't know where you may buy it, but you may buy it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just try to be creative, see what's around you, start saving things like magazines, maybe going to doctors or friends and they throw it away. So that's okay, you know. Um, I love the orange, it's actually matching. Like the green would match as well, but I think the orange stays within the some sort of nice color that I think. If I knew that I, I would be adding something, I would maybe put it up higher or something, I don't know, but for now it's fine. We'll do it as it is. It's cute and I like that. I hope you like that too. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And we can have beautiful arrangement words just in the middle. Will that make sense? It can actually, it can actually. Beautiful arrangement. No. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe here. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Let's glue this down. Let's glue this down. Our lo lovely bow. So yeah, get get few basics. Uh, you can get a basic as well. Basic like maybe a stamp that you like, a text stamp or maybe one stencil. I would suggest you not to get too much things. You may feel overwhelmed, you may be... no, you will feel definitely overwhelmed if you get too much. So I suggest you not to get too many things, just the necessity and go from there. That, yeah, that's my suggestion. No, opposite to that matter opposite to that. There we go. Something like that. 
<laughs> the desk is filled with my glue. <laughs> glue is everywhere right now from gluing down all. There we go, beautiful arrangement. Even a little bit cricket. Wow! But I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't do a little bit of outlining like this. So this is standing out even more, although it does stand out greatly. Same for our bow, we can have a little bit of doodle here. Look, just a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit. Now, so it's visible more. It kind of adds up to the project, the composition, to everything. It just stands out more. It shows better. And I, I think it's good. With busy background like that, adding an um, outline really helps in any sort of projects you have. Outlining, it's always good, I think. Or in most of the time, it's good. Okay. Hmm, wow. I've managed to record all the break, break a blank <laughs> parts of the uh, that you've seen uh, previously in one day. So it's my, what, uh, fourth? Yes, is it? We've made what? We've made first video, then we've made second video, third, and so that's the fourth for today. So in one day I've managed to record four videos, although you are watching it spread it, of course, in time. But for me, this video is number four. <laughs> wow. Uh, that No wonder it's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, but I feel so energi energized today. I feel so good. I've been down and I've told you this a few times, or not too many, but here and there on my social media. Some of you could have read it in between the lines as well. Uh, and I'm back. I'm so happy. I'm back. I feel so much better. Uh, I think I feel energized. Closing down the shop for a little moment. Um, it's definitely good to just catch up, to grab some fresher. Uh, maybe some of you never noticed we have closed the shop. Well, by the time you're watching this shop, is probably open, our online store. But today, when I'm chatting to you right now, it's the second day or third from closing. And I already feel a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit better because I think um, it's just some part of the of the hard work is taken off from my shoulder for a little moment and we have can have a little bit of a break from packing orders, from thinking about stuff and worrying about where the goodies are, will they arrive on time and things like that. So I think it's just nice to take a break and you know what, I'm only learning this to take a break. We did not take a break from work. Uh, since COVID, since even earlier and all of that. So to be very honest, um, it's it's been hard, you know, it's been hard being home stuck for so long, like for everyone else. Uh, it, it's not excluding us. It's hard being with the girls running business from home. Everything is, you know, a little bit upside down. So really, really, um, yeah, taking a break, it's important, guys. You have to learn that. I'm learning this. I encourage you to not be afraid of take a little bit of a break and just just learn it just just it's okay to not be okay it's okay to admit it and it's okay to take a break and I think we came to this point when we that thought like Do you know what it's time to watch some Netflix <laughs> it's time to watch some series and that's what I'm gonna do hopefully for another uh, few days I really would love a little bit of quietness peace and off work simply as that off all sorts of commitments and just take it easy step by step. Mm, not easy when you're workaholic, when your work is your passion, when people, you, my beautiful friends, are such a huge important part of my life and important part of, in my head as well. It's very hard to not think about it, not have it on the back of your head. Hundreds and thousands of people that are here. It's like, it's very hard to switch it off. I'm learning to at least take a break. Not switch it off, but take a break. With that lesson, number five nearly of a chit chat. Uh, lesson number five, take a break. Learn how to take a break. <laughs> These guys keep on looking at me. <laughs> um, 
I hope nobody's feeling offended by this being upside down. As I have been saying, it's art. Let's not be too 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 exact about things. So lesson number four: drawing your own focal point yet again, uh, coloring with no cost supplies like a tea. That's it. My beautiful friends, I'm gonna finish here. I love you so very much. I'm glad to be back to my desk. Uh, this day was amazing. I've made so many videos, so many projects. I truly, truly needed it. I needed this boost of feeling really uh, satisfied. That's a good word. I just really needed to be back to my studio, forget about everything and just create something from my heart. And these projects, today's projects, uh, all of the, all of them are from my heart so very much. I love them. I hope those are giving you a boost of uh, creativity, energizing you as much as I did to me. And I hope that those who have no budget will find it inspirational and will allow yourself to actually go for it and make some gorgeous art. So my friends, I'm going to wrap up it that sadly. Enough for today. I have to really go to my hobby who is on the couch. Hopefully he will be still there when I finish chatting to you and he's not running away. <laughs> Thank you for being here, always sticking with me. Yeah, for your words of support and love and care. It means so much. We have to stick together. That's the main thing. So guys, stay safe, stay healthy and happy. Be on the lookout for good things always. Think about positive stuff always and forever. Um, good energy is important. The negative energy, push it away from you. We don't need that. So thank you so much, my beautiful friends. I'm going to wrap up with that. I love you, but I have to go. Till the next time, happy crafting. And I'll chat to you super very soon. Bye.